basically the rest of it. Shabbos is really this paragraph of Eliezer. After that, it's just you lose. I didn't pay attention. The rest of it is Mishnahis afterwards. I know the last three parts are Mishnahis. I think the only. Is Chav also has no Mishnahis? Chav has a little bit more. Chav has a little bit more. So where are we? Today is Wednesday, right? We're in Peches. And we're supposed to go to Tzadi Yom Ra'ab today. And then Tzadi Yom Ra'ab. Are we going to finish? Monday? Right, tomorrow we have to Tzadi Yom Ra'ab. Yeah, we're going to even try and finish tonight, tomorrow night. Because you're right, the last thing in Mishnah is tomorrow we finish all the Gemara. Maybe we should go for it. Catch a week of Erevin. What? Catch a week of Erevin. Catch a week of Erevin. When was Shabbos supposed to be over? Test. Uh, so that's that's Tuesday. That's Tuesday. This coming Tuesday. So uh, no Monday. Yud Ches is Yud Ches is uh, is Sunday and Yud Ches is Monday. So we'll be uh, slightly ahead, not very, but slightly. Okay. Says I don't. I thought we were more ahead than I guess because we, we missed Monday night, so that's why we lost ground. All right. Um, let's start. Tiny uh, Devais, we're in the second line down in Pech Hasmanov. Tiny Devais Rebbe. We learned the house of Rebbe, they taught Marchitza Smila, you could wash the child's Mila on Shabbos, but not the rest of his body. Right? Vav Shere Elchon said, Hello, can we show Marchitza Smila? Three days? Or no, on the first day. First day. Of, of, uh, also the third day, but we haven't gotten to that officially yet. Right, uh, like Mandamar says, you can wash the Mila, not the rest of the body. You're allowed to wash his whole body. You must say that you can wash his whole body. Why? Because Tanish, what we learned, Shmuel said, We learned that you don't, you can't, you do not deprive somebody who has a wound from oil or from hot water. Throughout Shabbos, Am Rabbi Yosir said, "Kol Shah all the time." And here this should be the word Haya, according to Garbanator. Kol Shah Haya Rabbi Zera, Kol Shah Haya Rabbi Zera, Oy Mer it should be Shah Malo Rabbi Ba, right? Be you get it? It's supposed to be Am Rishen Rabbi. I'm sorry, Am Rishen Rabbi Ba, Shah Malo that he said it. They said to him, hey, man, whatever, however exactly we Rabbi Yosef says, Rabbi Zira said, all the time Rabbi B, Rabbi Boss said to him, Tani must nisach v'lo od el shemizalfi mayim agai makab shabbos. And not only that, but you can also sprinkle water on top of a wound on Shabbos. Im amrat shemachitza samila. If you're going to say that all you could do by bris mila is wash the wound itself, ma ben makosu shogal or makosu shoktan. There's no substantial difference between the wound of a of an adult and the wound of a child, right? And that kind of beat it must be more mutter to do for a child than it's mutter for do for an adult. Rabbi Yosef, Rabbi Lazar said, "I look like Rabbi Lazar ben Azar." Your Rabbi Yosef name Rabbi Lazar. How long is like Rabbi Lazar ben Azar? Meaning that um, one is allowed uh, to uh, to. Uh, well, actually, this is a new thing. Let me just stress that. So we come to the conclusion that you can watch the entire body on Shabbos, not just the not just the mila, the bris mila itself. Now, new thing. Rabbi Yosef, Rabbi Lazar said, "I look Rabbi Lazar ben Azar." You can watch even on the third day. Rabbi Boom, Rishem, Rabbi Vos, the time of Rabbi Lizabeth Azariah, what's the logic of Rabbi Lizabeth Azariah? Because it says, Vahiba Yom Hashishah, on the third day, Biyasim Kavim, when they were in pain. Because the Koyev Ink, Siv Khan, doesn't say when he was, when it was in pain, when their when their when their bris was in pain, Ela Biyosim Kavim. Right, I, I'm not sure what it should have said. Maybe it should have said be yosam koev 
whatever the case may be, we dodge that the public, the, the, the Lashon is plural, right? Koavim. Melamit Shikoavim. Koavim Alem. Teaches us that all their limbs hurt them. In other words, on the third day after you get a bris milah, uh, not only is your bris milah in pain, but your entire body is in pain. Shmuel Amar Bibnesakon. So from here we learn. Um, Rabbi Yaakov Baracha. Rabbi Yaakov Baracha. Rabbi Yaakov Baracha. Rabbi Lezer. Rabbi Yochan. Rabbi Yaakov told over Rabbi Lezer. Rabbi Yochan. Mefaktin l'chayosu. They used to tell the the Oledes, the the midwife. Kol shukrin da'avin l'chol chaylo b'shabes. Any uh, any uh, um, remedies where it makes for a sick person on Shabbos. Obviously, I feel we have You can also do on the third day, which uh, came out on Shabbos. Okay, third day comes day on Shabbos. On the Rizmila, you can do any chilul uh, Shabbos necessary for the chole for the sick child. Because the danger heat up our water. Rabbi Yesi bar boom b'shem rabban and tamban mechamil lochaim b'shabes. You'll have to heat up hot water on Shabbos. By the way, well, I don't know exactly what you do with this hot water. We don't use hot water on the bris meal anymore. Not not on the third day, not on the first day. So I don't know. Maybe before there was antiseptics. Maybe the hot water was. Uh, it was like you see in the cowboy movies. It was dipped up the band- the cloths in hot water. You use them as bandages. I think maybe that could be what. That's what they use. I saw enough cowboy movies to see yeah. that. Okay. The cowboy movies, that's the way to keep the father busy while we're working. Oh, yeah, they boil a lot of hot water. Oh, that's right. Hot water. Water. This is the first yeah. scripture that we Okay. Um, so, says the Gemara, all right, um, Vitali, uh, Rabbi Yasser Abu Mishay Rabbi Tamar, Rabbi Yasser Abu Mishay Rabbi the rabbis over there. Mechamel Chaim Shabbos allowed to eat up that water on Shabbos. The Tanya came and looked at the bride. Some Mechamin Aladam Alontis. A person could heat up a towel. Now this is a dry towel. Vinosli and Agnosli got him to put it on his stomach like a hot water bottle on Shabbos. However, Lo Ito Aladam My Raven Le Chaimin Person not take a a a a bowl full of hot water. Be Deno got me on Shabbos to put it on his uh, stomach on Shabbos. So the the Carmelite gives three possible reasons. Oh, well, I should, re- one for, should refrain from doing that on Shabbos. One is that um, you might it might spill and you'll come out there washing yourself with hot water, or it's only about a you know, towel to where you still have a towel and therefore you might come to squeeze it out and that's all, sir. Or it's because you might come to it's, it might be to refu on Shabbos healing a healing process on Shabbos. Why is it any better though if it's not uh, if it's just a dry towel? If it's a dry time, you're not going to squeeze. Then you're also not. You're also not. You're, no well, you also have to, to to heat up a dry time. Now let's heat up a wet towel. No, but it's, it's a matter of food. Yeah. What difference if it's a yeah, dry towel? it won't make a difference. If it's a matter of food, it won't make a difference. So that's basically what the more answers says. More Rabbi Shubin Levi says or rejects. Rabbi Shubin Levi says at least can ella mutter. It's even what to, to do with a bowl full of hot water. It's okay, so with, yeah, or whether it's not refuah, or whether we're not afraid of schito, or whether it's not considered to be washing. So the bottom line is we're not concerned this is permissible. Suffolk von Dragonus. A suffolk or an Andragonus. Suffolk means you don't know if he's a male or a female. Andragonus means he has elements of both. A mechain love is a shabbos. Can mechal shabbos to bris mila. Rabbi Nehemiah Matthew von Dragonus. Here he says mechal ben shabbos for an Andragonus. <coughs> The time and thing we learned over there. How kolchem b'riah? Everybody has to be seen in the base. I make the shchut mi chayr shoyt to be on the on the yom tovim chutz chayr shoyt to be caught it. With the exception of a person who's a deaf mute, a person who's an imbecile, a person who's a minor. With tum tum. Besides that, tum tum. So we don't know if it's male, female, or andragonus. A person who has both uh, signs of male and female. Ma'amar Rabbi Yehuda, what do Rabbi Yehuda say about this case in Chagiga, where the word there mechuyiv in in, in uh, Reiyah, they have to come to the base of Mikdash. Minado from the following statement, Rabbi Yochan da Avoya, Rabbi Shum Rabbi Yehuda, it's the name Rabbi Yehuda. Afasum, even a blind person is bothered for Reiyah. 
excuse me, does not the go to be seen by the, in the base of Mikdash, or does see Hashem be seen? So from this we deduce that lace by Nash Omar Af, a person doesn't say Af also unless he concedes upon the first thing so he must concede Rabbi Yudah must concede that a Andragonus is part of from or from uh, Ali Larego is, is exempt from going up to visit the base of Mikdash just like uh, the rest of them and then he adds on says Af there's also another one as well says Rabbi Yudah Rabbi Yudah is, 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 is seems to contradict itself so right because Taman Uomar a Prat, there he precludes an Andragonus from from the midst of going to be seen in the base of Mikdash. Vokal Mer Lurabos, he includes an Andragonus in the category of those whose Brismila pushes out Shabbos. So how do we reconcile the two? So Rabbi Rabban and Shnei Mikra Echad Darsh, they both actually say Bats, because it's Orel Zachar. Who gets a Brismila? Orel Zachar. So Rabbi Yudah Dara Zohar. He said, really, what should have said? It should have just said Zohar. For Rabbana Dara Shu'ala. Rabbana said, what should have just said? It should just have said Ora. So Matam Lomar Zohar. So it's going with Rabbana. It could have just said Ora. Uncircumcised. What does it mean? Zohar Achiye Kulo Zohar. He has to be completely a male in order to do his bris meal on Shabbos. So they dash the word Zohar. Rabbi Yudah says the exact opposite. Dar Rabbi Yudah Darsh no Zohar would have been enough to write male. Matam lo Arel. Why I say Arel? I feel Miktas Miktas or Arel. Even is only partially Arel. In other words, he's not a full Arel. So that's sufficient for his bris meal to push up Shabbos, which means that uh, the well, this is the source for Rabbi Yudah's opinion that an Arel that an Andragonus, even though he's not a full Arel. Gets a bris milah on Shabbos. Baramach, however, by Re'ia, by going to Beis Hamikdash, it says, "Kol zuchurcha, all your males," and that includes Pratl and Dragnus. Everybody agrees, both Rabbanon and Rav Yudah holds that that precludes on Dragnus from coming to the Beis Hamikdash. Okay. Just a second. Wait, don't come in. Bring please the Mishnah of Shabbos. There's a nice, nice big set of kahati, the second shelf from the top. Mm-hmm. All the way over, four, four rows over. Maybe four. A person who's, who One more. We got true as a male or female. So mm-hmm. it, it can be Hebrew or English, it doesn't matter. Shallow, so that person can't See the Moed Aleph, or I think uh, in the Kati, the Mark. Mm-hmm. That'll do. Mincha. What? Mincha. Oh, sorry, I'm going to give you a class on the Neman condition. On what? The Neman condition. Oh, really? Yeah, when you come at this time, it's a bad time to get a spot. Okay, now, Rabbi Sai, the next Mishnah has different version in the Bavli and the Ushalmi. That's why I asked Dr. Fidel to bring me there's some Mishnayas, uh, which hopefully will have the Bavli's gear. So. Um, yeah. Listen first to, to the Mishnayas. Misha, when some of you had two children, I'll read you out, I'll say to you outside, two children, he had to, to, to perform Bris Milan. He's a Moel. One is supposed to be Mal on Sunday, and the other is supposed to be Mal on Saturday. Instead, he gave the one of Sunday on Saturday, right? It got mixed up. So he's chayv chatos. He has to bring a chatos. Why? Because he didn't do a mitzvah, right? Mm-hmm. Well, what was his mitzvah? The, the mitzvah do it on Sunday. He did it on Saturday. It's not a mitzvah. If he had wanted to do bris on Friday, and he did the, uh, and wanted to do the bris on Shabbos, and he forgot and he did the one of Arab Shabbos, of Friday on Shabbos, right? Um, so Rabbi Lezer says he's Chayav Achatos and Rabbi Shua says you're Potter why are you Potter? because never le- cause he did a mitzvah why do you do a mitzvah? because it's after the 8th day it's the ninth day so therefore since he did a mitzvah on the kid even though it was done improperly but he was under mistaken impression he was a top of our mitzvah 
What? That'll be the logic of Rebbe Lezer. No, Rebbe Lezer is a book for He says you're Chayav Chatos. Oh, okay. Chayav Chatos. No, but, well, that's exactly it. Why? You're Chayav Chatos because you could have done an Arab Shabbos. You didn't do Arab Shabbos, so therefore, uh, you... you uh, regardless of whether you perform the mitzvah, it was Efrash Tal Sosay of Shabbos, therefore you're Chayim Tachatos for doing that. Chatos for being Mechal Shabbos. That's right. right. You may have done the mitzvah, but there's still the overriding principle of Efrash Tal Sosay of Shabbos. But he doesn't own Efrash Tal Sosay of Shabbos. No, he doesn't? No, it holds you don't have to do things there of Shabbos. Well, that's a problem then. <laughs> Spoken like a lawyer. Okay. <laughs> now, let's see the uh, let's see the Mishnah and the Yerushalmi. Mishael is Tatinokos. A person had two children to marry. Echlamu be Arab Shabbos. The first case in the Mishnah is the case he had two kids, one to marry on Friday, the other Shabbos the other do on Saturday. The Shacha now and he switched. He did the one on Friday on Saturday. Chayev. So, and this is according to the Yerushalm is the Machlokas. This is the case in the Bible upon which the Machlokas goes. According to Yerushalmi, that's no Machlokas. You're Chayev. Everybody agrees you're Chayev. What's the Machlokas? Another case which the Bible doesn't address. Uh, no, the first case. The first case in the Bible, you're right. First case in the Bible, which is Echad Lomo Akhar Shabbos, Echad Lomo Shabbos, want to be mal on Shabbos, want to be mal on air and Sunday, right? Uh, it's backwards. Echad Lomo Akhar Akhar Shabbos, Echad Lomo Shabbos, one for Sunday and one for Saturday. Shalom Lomo Shabbos, 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 you've forgotten, did the one for after Shabbos on Shabbos. Rabbi Lezim Chayav Chatas, Rabbi Shul Paita, Rabbi Shul exempts you in this case. Okay? Why is Rabbi Shul exempt you in this case? He did the one on Sunday on Saturday. The Chori did it a day early, right? Has the mitzvah been performed? It's not a mitzvah. No, it's not a mitzvah. So the should be chayiv. That's what the Bavli holds, right? So we'll talk about it. Okay. Now the next Gemara, the next Gemara, Lieberman says there are three different strands in this Gemara, each of which is written in a different base manner, each of which had a different gears in our Mishnah. Okay. So this is a major, majorly convoluted Gemara. We will just plow through it and be try and play a blind eye to that. But uh, I will tell you at what point he says that things switch over from one Gerson to the other. Now the first Gerson and Mishnah clearly, the first approach of Gemara, almost 100% did not have the Gerson and our Mishnah, but rather the Gerson and the Bavli. Okay? I'm Rabbi El said to Rabbi Meir he. Rabbi Yehudah said, this is Rabbi Meir. Now, this statement, this is Rabbi Meir, is in itself in doubt, because we have a very similar Mishnah and Pesachim, and it might well be going in the Mishnah and Pesachim, not in this Mishnah altogether. But anyway, says the word, Zudi Rabbi Meir, the Omar, Tavash, Shina, Asiyoso, Mitzvah, Potter. So, which where you do a Mitzvah is Potter, the Sheim, Basiyoso, Mitzvah, Machlokas, when you're not doing Mitzvah, it's a Machlokas. Now, I will explain this like the Ridvaz. The Ridvaz says that this means that if you did the Mila of Erev Shabbos on Shabbos, then you're Potter altogether. Not like our Mishnah, right? Why you Potter altogether? There's no way our Mishnah altogether, you're always but, uh, you're Potter altogether, right? Oh, so that's why, right. but since you did a mitzvah, it's there for your potter. So, she'em uh, also mitzvah, if you didn't have in, uh, in a mitzvah, meaning you were modeled the one from Sunday on Shabbos, then that's a machlokas. That's going to be machlokas, Rabbi Lez and Rabbi Yeshua, okay? That, because that, in that, that case, uh, uh, that, in that case, you, you didn't do the mitzvah. Now, the critical thing is like this, as the Rebbeis points out, and will unfold in the Gemara. So why is it Machlokas? Why is Rabbi Shua exempt you? Right? So, so the reason Rabbi Shua exempts you is because he had a mitzvah in front of you. There were two kids in front of you. Two lads. One for Shabbos and one for after Shabbos. You just messed up and did the wrong one. But the mitzvah still w- was there. There was a tangible, palpable mitzvah in front of you. As opposed to the other case the case where you got mixed up between a Friday kid and a Shabbos kid and you did the Shabbos kid on Friday and the Friday kid on Shabbos by the time you got to the Shabbos was there any mitzvah in front of you anymore? 
Sure. No. That's what Rabbi Yoshua. That that's a uh, uh, that might be the sheet of Rabbi Yoshua. Oh, hmm. that's true. The only thing you might say is right. that since the eighth day has passed already, you can wait till the ninth. No, that's so for sure true. You have three different crafts. That's right. You get your chazaka right away. You don't need three years. The rabbi is mine. No, 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 no. Right. Three years. No, 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 no. Oh, yeah, our mission says Chayim in that case. Right, mission says Chayim. Our mission says Chayim. Yeah, because again, not like the Bible. You you mouth the kid, not like the Bible. You mouth the kid on for Saturday, on Friday, and for Friday, on Saturday, right? So that he calls Ein Basiyoso Mitzvah. There's no mitzvah which you have to do today. Wait till Sunday. Not just can it wait till Sunday, it's supposed to wait till Sunday. Right. When you got when you got again, this is the way to buy some plays. When you got the Sunday kid, Sunday and Saturday kid on Saturday, and he muffed up and did the Sunday kid today. So then you have in front of you a kid in which there where there's there's a mitzvah. So there even Rabbi Eliezer agrees to your potter. Your Rabbi Eliezer agrees to your potter in that case. The question is where the mitzvah is no longer in front of you. Because the mitzvah was yesterday, right? True, you have fulfilled the mitzvah, the mila, once you did, because it's after the eighth day. But there's no mitzvah to be doich a Shabbos right now in front of you. So then, that's machlokas Rabbi Lezer and Rabbi Shur. But you hold still, there's a mitzvah here. You're a tovet var mitzvah. Rabbi Lezer holds no. There's no dechia Shabbos in front of you, and therefore you, 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 you're chayiv. Okay, that's all, Rabbi Meir. Rabbi Shimon, however, Omer. If there is in the mitz, if there is a, um, if there is a, now the, uh, if there is a mitzvah involved, you're chayef. Meaning that, uh, like the ratio of our Mishnah says, you have a case where you had a guy uh, the, in front of you, uh, you, you had you had in front of you Friday and Saturday, right? And the Saturday kid on Friday, and the Friday kid on Saturday. So he had a mitzvah in front of you, right? For sure he had a mitzvah in front of you. So that he says, What? What does Chayim mean? It's talking about Chatos. I go no no I know I goofed I goofed because I, I, I explained Ray Mayor where I should have explained Rabbi Shimon. Let me go back again. Ray Mayor, my dumber Dovish has the also mitzvah potter. Top of the page where it says Dovish has the also mitzvah potter. This is talking about. Not like our Mishnah, okay? It means you had a guy, uh, you, you mouthed the Arab Shabbos one on sh- I goofed very badly. I'm, very, I'm sorry. Could be worse, but I did a bad job. Darvish Asi also mitzvah potter means wherever you mouth an Arab, it's not our Mishnah. I got mixed up because the way I experiment here fits with our Mishnah perfectly. And we know, as Red Lieberman tells us, that, that it's not our Mishnah, Rabbi Yochanan, Rabbi Meir. That cannot work out. So it, what he means is like this. Dovish Asi also mitzvah potter means wherever you have a kid in front of you who could have a bris because it's after his eighth day. Meaning, even if you have a Friday kid on Shabbos, right? You did the Shabbos kid on Friday, and now you have the Friday kid on Shabbos. Everybody agrees you're potter. Why is that? Because you had a mitzvah. You, had, you did a mitzvah. That's not our Mishnah, because our Mishnah says in that case you're chayev. You're chayev. You have to wait till Sunday. That's the ratio of our Mishnah. In that case it says, says you're chayev. But the the the, the, the uh, he says your potter as long as you did a mitzvah as long as the kids bris milah could do, could take effect you're, you're in that case your potter. The she'em bas you also mitzvah machlokes. What what happens if there's no mitzvah in front? If there, there's no mitzvah, now this means again not like I said before. You, you have the Saturday and the Sunday kid in front of you, right? So Shabbos is, you are allowed to be Daikha Shabbos in that case, right? 
because it's Saturday and Sunday, not Friday and Saturday, right? So it could be Derek Shabbos, but he muffed up and did the wrong kid. He's a Sunday kid. That's the Machlokas. Rabbi Lazar holds your your Chayev, and Rabbi because the bottom line is he didn't do mitzvah. Rabbi Shu holds your Potter. Okay, so in that case. We have the Malak kid who was already past the eighth day. You're part of going to everybody. Darvish Emas Yosem Mitzvah means we were Malak kid who wasn't yet on the eighth day, right? Even though there was a kid in front of you for whom it was the eighth day, that that case you have a Machlokas and Darvish, the one one pin holds Chayev, that's Rabbi Lezer, the other pin holds part of that's Rabbi Yeshua. Now, he holds like our Mishnah. Again, Rabbi Shimon does come out of our Mishnah. He holds if there's a, if there's a case where there's a mitzvah, he can still be Chayev. Why? That's a case where you need an entree into Shabbos. This is talking about a case where you mouth the Saturday kid on Friday and the Friday kid on Shabbos. So even though you're doing a mitzvah now, because it's after the eighth day. Right for this kid, it's the, it's day nine. So you're doing a mitzvah now when you're malam on Shabbos. Doesn't matter because you don't have the entree to be mechal Shabbos. Why is that? Because it's not a, it's not a bris pismano. Wait till Sunday, right? So therefore, uh, Rabbi Yisrael again. So Rabbi Shemir Dovish Basiyoso Mitzvah Chayav. Even though you're going to get a mitzvah, you're still Chayav. The Shein Basiyoso Mitzvah. The case where there is no mitzvah. <laughs> on the contrary, let's say you had a Sunday and Saturday and Sunday case, and you end up doing the Sunday kid on Saturday, so then you put then it's machlokas. Part the the machlokas. Then you could say it's, 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 it's that it's a machlokas whether you're part or a chayv. Why in that case it's machlokas? Because Shabbos was nitam li dachos. You had in front of you a kid for whom you could do a milo today. So therefore, there's a suspension on the prohibition in front of you. Corner of Bishur, corner of it doesn't work, but corner of Bishur does work. That Reb Shimon is, is our mission. What? That Reb Shimon is our mission. Or is our mission here in the Yerushalayim? Yes, exactly. Rabbi Meir is not our Mishnah, Rabbi Shimon is our Mishnah. Because the criterion of our Mishnah is clearly going like Rabbi Shimon. The criterion of Mishnah is if Shabbos, if you have in front of you a kid for which Shabbos can be pushed aside, then I say it's possible you're not high of a Korban. Machlok is to be sure Rabbi Lezer, but it's possible you're not high of a Korban. If you don't have a kid for which Shabbos can be pushed aside, even if it's a mitzvah day for him, meaning it's past the eighth day, doesn't matter. In that case, you, you, everybody agrees. Even Rabbi Yeshua holds your chayv. That's my Mishnah Mishnah, because our Mishnah says again, Arab Shabbos. If you switch the Friday kid and a Shabbos kid, right? Even though you're, the Friday kid is now on day nine, you're chayv. So it's a Saturday kid and a Sunday kid. Even though the the Saturday the Sunday kid is day seven. You're not doing a mitzvah. But since at the time you did the, the meal on him, you had a Saturday kid in front of you, the kid who you, uh, who you uh, glassed over, so that's enough to make you a machlokas, Rabbi Lezner, Rabbi Shur, Rabbi Shur, Holter, Potter. Does everyone agree that you don't get a mitzvah doing the kid on day seven? Mm-hmm. Universal. Nobody disagrees about that. There's no mitzvah whatsoever. Now, a mayor holds that the criterion is whether you did a mitzvah or not, which is not the criterion of Mishnah. That might be the criterion of the Bavli, right? Some of you had to, uh, 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 if he did the one of, uh, Bavli says if he had Saturday and Sunday, Saturday and Sunday, and he did the Sunday one on Shabbos, then you're chayef, because you didn't do a mitzvah, right? It's the opposite of our Mishnah. And the, the Bavli also says that if you had a Friday and Saturday kid, and you did the Friday kid on Saturday, that's the machlokas, because you did a mitzvah, right? So then Rabbi, Rabbi Shur exempts you. That's exactly Rabbi Meir Shita. Very good. So when Rabbi Yechonon says, Hainu Dom, Hainu our Mishnah, our Mishnah right Meir, he didn't mean the Mishnah in the Yerushalmi, he meant the Mishnah in the Bavli, because our Mishnah is Rabbi Shimon. Okay, so again, the Mishnah in the Bavli hinges on whether you did a mitzvah, the mitzvah, the Mishnah in the Yerushalmi hinges on whether you had a kid in front of you who could push aside Shabbos. Okay? Says the Gemara further, Rabbi Yaisi B'Shem Rabbi Yechudan said, 
Diver and Meir. Now, Meir didn't just express the opinion over here. He expressed the opinion of Sech the Pesachim. Sech the Pesachim says, if you shech the Pesach, Air Pesach comes down on Shabbos. If you shech the Pesach, not L'Shem Pesach, but L'Shem Imure Tzibur. Shech it for the purpose of a carpent Tzibur. A Meshugana. You shech it for a carpent Tzibur. So, your Meir says you're okay. Right? Because you made a mistake in a mitzvah. Because you thought you were doing a mitzvah, the uh, mitzvah of shechting, shechting a carbon seaboard. Okay? So it says, Mary is in Shari Yogh, that Dira Mir Vushi has set Tomim Ben Shona. At least it's got to be a, 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 a unblemished goat or a, a lamb, one year old, meaning within its first year, right? Ushlomim, and it's got to be done for the purpose of Shloim. And Roy Lishtar Shei Pesach, and thus it could have uh, uh, it could have been done for the purpose of Pesach, right? Otherwise, Rameir says Yechayev. In other words, since you're Toeb B'Tvar Mitzvah, you're okay. But it has to have been done for the something which could have been switched over to Pesach if necessary. Achmami Natlas. From this you... What? Achmami Natlas. From this you derive two, th- three things from the case of Pesachim. In order to be considered that uh, you didn't do an Aveir, it's got to be susceptible to being a Pesach. Me, uh, why specifically a Pesach? Because Pesach is something which has no limits. You can make a gazillion Pesachim on our Pesach, right? Because if it talk, uh, let's say it was suitable to be some other carbon, but that most other carbonos, especially Murat Sibur, have a limit. You can't sacrifice more than one or two of them a day, right? So therefore, in order to get you off the hook, it's got to be that this Pesach, you shech the L'shemi Murat, uh, uh, that you shech the, the, it's specifically a Pesach, which shech the L'shemi Murat Sibur, because there's no limit to the amount of Pesachim you can make. And it should be Dovar, this is a typo, it shouldn't be Shein, Dark Abraham, it should be something which can be you know, uh, switched over to a Pesach, right, uh, physically. The Dovish Hesh Pesach Mitzvah, and it's got to be something where there's a Mitzvah to do it that day, Pesach is a Mitzvah to do it that day, right? So uh, it sounds like the sun, Saturday, Sunday case. Where right. You have the baby that's eligible for it. Right? We're going to come full circle. Mais L'cha Dovish Hesh Lo Kitzvah. What does it mean uh, uh, that it has no limit, the amount of Pesachim? Well, well, explain me what that means, says Mark. Rabbi Yisrael Meir, Rabbi Yisrael wanted to say, Shlo nos na tera kitzva kam b'sachim mit ches ha-shab, b'sachol shana. There's no limit, like I explained in a moment ago, there's no limit down to the amount of Pesachim mit every year, as many as the Klai Yisrael brings. Rabbi Yisrael Meir, very interesting, Rabbi Yisrael, he says, Shein at yocholam and yorim yorim, you don't know how many they sacrifice. Right? To an account. It's not that there's no limit. I can't count them. So therefore, you know, one more can slip in. What's the difference? One one more or not. Okay? Rabbi Yesi. Now here the gears is messed up again. Rabbi Yesa, it should be cut half the carbon eighter brings down the right gear saw. Seven lines at the bottom. Cut half a mati li When he used to come to these kids, Spakos were in doubt in our in our uh Hoya Oime would say, Yofilim Dani Rabbi Yirmiya. I like Rabbi Yirmiya's word that the Torah didn't give a limit. Kama Psachim, Yitchos Hashaz Choshara, how many Psachim should, should push off Shabbos every year? Why? Because by Bris Milo, can you say that you can't count them? Of course you can count them, right? How many are there? Two? Yet nonetheless, we say, that once you have entree to be Docha Shabbos, you remember Rabbi Shimon Svara? Once you have entree to be Docha Shabbos, you can continue being Docha Shabbos, right? Right? So, wait a minute. What does it mean? Once you have entree to be, to be Docha Shabbos, can you be do, being Docha Shabbos? It has to be Docha Shabbos, right? Something which has no limit. It has to be something which has no limit. If you're going to say it has no limit because they're not countable because there's so many carbon space out here, there is a very definite limit. How many kids do you have in front of you? Two, Two? maybe even more. They're in the world, they're in the city. There are other babies that need a brisk that day, so maybe that's. You still can count them. So possible can it's not like Corpusit Peso. Yeah. So the bottom line is he says it's like Rabbi Yirmir, that there's no limit to the amount of kids. The Torah didn't put a cap on how many kids you can have in Bukhao Shabbos. Okay? Rachitsu Amar Rachitsu said, Diver Rabbi Shimon, according to Rabbi Shimon, Tipata Shiyar Shom Chabur Acha Shloshach. I got another reason for you. He says, according to Rabbi Shimon, uh, who said the Machlokis is where there's where you um 
where you intended to do, to uh, the Machlok is well according to Shimon who said that you need to be doing on Shabbos right you need to have Dovashe no Kitzvah uh, he still he, he still needs to have one Chabur which hasn't yet checked to the Pesach because that, that's why it's still Nitan Lidochos right remember we said the reason why a potter where it's a Saturday and Sunday kid in front of you, 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 you were mild as Sunday kid and Saturday is because he had a Saturday kid in front of you. And therefore you had the entree, the car, they already had the license to be Michal Shabbos. So therefore, even they, they, they did the wrong one, it's okay. So, so Tia, there has to still be license to be Shech the Korban. What's license to Shech the Korban Pesach as long as there's still some group which haven't yet done their Korban Pesach? Because once the game, once the, the le- if you're behind them, if there are no more left, so that's it. The gates are so to speak closed, and therefore your car, your mistaken carbon will not slip in under the wire. Is that clear? The Tchir Shabbos pushed off. If you're the last straggler in higher bias, you know, because tr- tr- running up the shach to carbon, that's it. Your client can't be done for Shabbos anymore because there have no other carbon pesos except for you. So it's like a case where there's no Saturday kid in front of the in front of the moil. Um, I'm Rabbi Zir. Rabbi said, Milset now according to Lieberman here again starts a new sugya. New thread starts here again. Um, I'm Rabbi Zir. said, Milset the Rabbi Yanai Omar. That which I learned from Rabbi Yanai tells me, Vusha Shocha Chumal as Shal Shabbos Bear of Shabbos. It's only if you shech if you forgot. And you, uh, the ratio which says your your chayev is when you forgot and you were mal the kid of Shabbos and erev Shabbos. Why is that? Of course, because then you have no uh, no uh, license on Shabbos because you already mal the Shabbos kid before Shabbos began. That's why you're chayev. What about mola b'shachris? Uh, what about if you were mal? I'm not sure what Rabbi Yana added on to the mission. I mean, that's obvious. What? Rabbi Yana. I'm not sure what he added on to the mission itself. It's the, the mission didn't say you switched. The mission just say you, you were mild the, the Friday kid on Shabbos, not that you were mild the Shabbos kid on Friday. Oh, that, oh, oh, yeah. yeah, it didn't say reflexive. As so Arab Shabbos be Shabbos Chayev. He adds that you shall you. I keep saying Sheikh, but he adds that you were mild the Friday Shabbos kid on Friday. So that's what he adds, and it's you, you, both combined. We I said that, but the mission itself didn't say that. Okay. Now Mola b'Shachris. Now again, the reason why Lieberman says this it says Nusuk is because he obviously didn't hear the top of the Hamud. But Rav Chissa said on top of the Yomud, right? Because ra, ra, the, the Shaila is, Rabbi Zira, Mal B'Shachris, what if you were Mal, yeah, today's kid, not on Friday, but you're Mal today's kid already in the morning. Okay? Today's kid, you're Mal in the morning, and then that evening, or later on that day actually, you want to be Mal yesterday's kid. Are you Chai of a Potter? Right, so you were allowed. You got. You had license for that Shabbos, but you already terminated your license, right? Because the license is already used up already. Rabbi Zira, my son, Rabbi Yanni, Potter, Potter, it's my locus. Yanni says once you have license that day, it continues for the whole day. I bought my chai because your license expired when you used it already. Vlaida mi mila amar Rabbi Yanni. So if that's the case, why did the Mishnah set it up with a case? Vlaida mila means for what purpose? Gorm Rabbiani sounds like what purpose Rabbiani say, but really what it means is for what purpose and the Mishnah say set up Friday and Saturday. Could have set up two kids on Saturday itself. Much bigger Kiddush. Why it says Friday and Saturday, right? So it says the Gemara. It's only about batish. That's the way kids get mixed up. You get mixed up between one kid and you know between the kid on Friday and kid on Saturday. That's the way they get switched. It's unlikely that you get two did two kids in the same day. 
right? They would require amnesia, not just switching, and that's an unlikely case, right? They, you forgot that you did already one of the kids this morning, or something like that. So that's that's a much more unlikely case. Now, I'll die to the Rebbe Zero. According to Rebbe Zero, now here the Rebbe Chaim, can, nobody knows to do the next line. Learman says, the next line is hopeless. He says, go ahead, he says, go ahead change it any way you want, because it's certainly wrong. So I'll give you uh, Rebbe Chaim Kanievsky's way of reading it. I'll die to the Rebbe Zero. According to Rebbe Zero, <laughs> the way the Reb Chaim Kanievsky reads it should be not Ki Rabbiani but Rabbiani, and then he skipped the whole. But the whole, uh, uh, the, well, uh, the Rabbiani, the low Ki Rav Chista. Rabbiani is not like Rav Chista, meaning that it's clear Rabbiani is not like Rav Chista because Rabbiani says your license extends for the entire day, right? Once you have license that morning. For a Saturday kid, even if later on in the day you were a Friday kid, you're okay. Why is that? Because your license didn't, doesn't expire all day. But that's not like Rav Chista, because Rav Chista at the top of the omen said, What? You need still another Chabura of Sheikh Te Pesach. You can't be the last straggler. And if we held, if Rav Chista Rabbi Yana agreed, so according to Rabbi Yana, even if you're the last straggler, there was plenty of license to be Mechal Shabbos earlier that day, right? For the corner space of before, so therefore Rabbi Yana and Rav Chista cannot agree with each other. Okay? I'm Rabbi Mona. Say some more further. I'm Rabbi Mona. And Mona said in front of Rabbi Yasi, Ma the Marav Chista Krabi Shimon. That which, uh, that which Rav Chista, no, it's not Kasha. Not Kasha. Ma the that which Rav Chista says Krabi Shimon. Madam Rabbi Yanni, Kerem Mayor. So it's not a machlokas. Rabbi Yosi, Rabbi Rabbi Yosi was going in. Raymond, Rabbi Chista was going in for in Rabbi Shimon, who says that the spora is you need you need a license to be Mechal Shabbos, and that which Rabbi Yanni says is uh, is um, was going in Rabbi Mayor. Who says that the issue is whether you you made a mistake for a mitzvah or not a mistake for a mitzvah? Or something which you possibly a mitzvah that day. Meshivin Dover ben Rabbi Meir, Rabbi Shimon. So you are you ask you a question? How Rabbi you Yana Rabbi Chista can you ask you a question? You found a machlek between Rabbi Yana and Rabbi Chista? Not necessarily. So one is going to corner Rabbi Meir, one is going to corner Rabbi Shimon. So the Gemara of course answers that. No! For Ash Kompliga ben Rabbi Meir, ben Rabbi Shimon, be sure. Do you, do you find any machlokas about this issue? In other words, they have not, they, they're arguing about a different issue. They're arguing about wh- wh- what's the svar on Shabbos in Mechai, what's the svar on Shabbos to Pater, right? Is the svar on Shabbos in Mechai where you did a mitzvah? Is the svar on Shabbos to Pater where, uh, uh, to, to, to Pater where you did a mitzvah? Svar on Shabbos to Pater where there was license, right? But the thing is, he, uh, way the, more, the way Rabbi Chaim Kanievsky explains why I don't know if it's true I didn't work it through in my mind to be honest with you now I don't know if it clicks but the thing is according to uh, co- the question is uh, uh, it seems Rabbi Chaim assumes that even Rabbi Meir who says that you need, a, you need to be doing a mitzvah should require license yeah, why is it true you shouldn't require license according to him he wants to say he says that, that Rabbi Meir and Rabbi Shimon don't argue on this issue but the truth is I don't see how he can say that in retrospect because they do argue about this Rabbi Shimon does require license no I'm being an idiot no what he meant is Shimon Rabbi Meir doesn't hold of this svara. Rabbi Meir only holds what's the what, what's the issue, what's the crux, whether it's a mitzvah or not, right? Now whether you have license to be doing a Shabbos. So the whole vote of Rav Chiz is going to Rabbi Shimon, and the whole vote of Rabbi Yana is going to Rabbi Shimon. Neither of them were talking in Rabbi Meir. Rabbi Meir definitely holds, for sure holds, that the issue is an altogether different issue, whether it's a mitzvah to do or not. And therefore there's no question of whether he's still at a Chabura, to do doing it, Lamais was it a mitzvah today? So and, and you made a mistake about something which could have been a mitzvah today. That suffices. You may have said something which could not have been a mitzvah today. That's no good. 
Right? According to Rabbi Shimon, it's got to be that you have license. So in Rabbi Shimon, you can have an argument where the license earlier day suffices and you need a license right now, later in the day also. So therefore, Rabbi Yon, Rabbi Chista, have to argue Rabbi Shimon, not a Rabbi Mayer. The two are related, though. You, don't, you only have a license if, you, if it's a mitzvah. If it's not a mitzvah, then there's no license. What? No, 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 no. The case is a case like this. The case is, corner and mayor, a case where you have in front of you two kids, but you did the wrong kid, it doesn't do you any good. Because the mitzvah's not there. Because the mitzvah's not there. Because you didn't do the mitzvah. If you did Saturday's kid, if you did Sunday's kid on Saturday, Gordon and Mayor, even though the Saturday kid is in front of you, it doesn't matter. You're high in court, Rabbi Yeshua. Because according to him, the quarrel crux is not whether you have license that day, but whether when in the kid you cut, you actually did a mitzvah or not. And you did not do any mitzvah in the kid that you cut. So, according, so this is only initial Rabbi Shimon. That's what the Gemara is saying. Uh, 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 both of them must go to Rabbi Shimon, and therefore there must be a machlokas, because they're both discussing license, whether the license early in the day works. And therefore, Rabbi Yon and Rabbi Chista definitely have a machlokas here in Rabbi Shimon, whether license one point in the day works the entire day or not. Okay. Okay. Elutinokos Fekos. These kids who are in doubt. Mat Avidlon. How do you look at them? Now this is a coin Lieber and is yet a third train of thought, right? Another tra- train of thought begins here. These 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 Tinokos Fakos. Mat Avidlon. Basically poor editing. You know, things were, you know, sewn together haphazardly. Mat Avidlon. What do you how do you perceive them? Kudavishesh Kitsu Kudavishain Bo Kitsva. Are they these kids like something which has limit or something which doesn't have limit? Now again, we dealt with this. Why is the old it's choppy? Because he said it's like Dovashain Lo Kitsva. Now explain why it's a Dovashain Lo Kitsva? Because there's no limit to the amount of kids you can read Mal and Travis, right? But the Mark comes back and does it again. In Tavdinu Kedavar, now here the gears is messed up again, but as the Corbinator points out. In Tavdinu, the second line of the Corbinator. In Tavdinu Kedavar, Shein Lo Kid. So if you're going to say that it's something which has no limit, Afilu Ein Shom Tinok Acher Lomu. Even if there's no other kid to be Mao, right? Even if there's no other kid to be Mao in front of you, the license is there. Why? Because you can go to another city and be Mao with another kid. So Corner is so Gemara says a very interesting thing. Corner Rabbi Shimon, maybe you don't even have another kid in front of you. As long as you have the concept of other kids to be mild, that's sufficient. Because there are other kids to be mild that day. If however you consider it like a thing which has the kids for me that there is a limit, so the only time you have a license is when? With someone in front of you. Okay, it has to be someone in front of you in order to give you a license. Maybe early in the day, but you would have had to have actually personally another kid to be mom. That's something in Shabbos about the Shal Shudas time, about the cleaning up and preparing. Because you never know, but people might come for Shal Shudas. So even though there's no one. In for cups front of and stuff. You, we had that here, yeah. Right. Here? Yeah. Okay, we have the Benyot, the false of Holy Shemi of Orchim. A similar idea. Right. That would be a similar idea. But here, talk about the rices. That's about the, the rabbonans and things like the hachonas of the rabbonan. Am Rabbi Yisrael said, "Milei and the rabbonan, the words of the Rav that is often lo kedavar sheish lo kitzva." Obviously, our Mishnah holds it's like davar sheish lo kitzva. How do we see it's like davar sheish lo kitzva? Because it says you have to have another kid in front of you. Our Mishnah says you have to have the Saturday and Sunday kid in front of you. It was the davar sheish lo kitzva. So then, all you need to have is. The, uh, the possibility somewhere in the world of doing uh, bris milah that day. Yisacham now uh, another thing. Yisacham new thing again. Quite liberal. Yisacham hiktim zmano. If you are maktim the zman potter, icher zmano chayev. Now that means if you did uh, the the the, the is to start from scratch and say. I don't understand our mission. Our mission makes no sense. It says, if you did the Sunday kid on Shabbos, you're potter. Right? That's what our mission says. Which makes no sense because you didn't do a mitzvah. Yet if you do the Friday kid on Shabbos, you're chayev. 
But you are doing a mitzvah. So here the Yushalm is again starting from scratch, as if we didn't have the entire Sugi for, which told us there are Mishnah's Rebbe Shimon, and saying, I only stand, I only understand, uh, so he's saying to you, I only have a small head. I can only understand this Gordon Red Mayor. Right? He says the, the, the crux is whether I did a mitzvah or not. So I don't understand our Mishnah. Our Mishnah is part of you, but you didn't do a mitzvah. But you did a Sunday kid on Saturday. That's an Ivcha Mistabra. And our Mishnah is also saying within a Friday kid on Shabbos Shachayev. Ivcha Mistabra. Right? Ravuna Marchi Lufi Nehmas Nisan. You're right. Switch our Mishnah. Like the Bavli has Taka. The Bavli, Taka switches because the Bavli is like Grand Mayor. Right? And Ravuna was in Bavel. The tiny on Rabbi Shimon, Lo Nech Luku Rabbi Lezer Rabbi Yeshua. Lezer Rabbi Yeshua didn't argue. I'm Yeshua, Lo Lo Mulach Har Shabbos Tumalu B'Shabbos. Now I don't know this this uh, this Rabbi Shimon is. It's obviously not our Rabbi Shimon, right? I'm not sure exactly how we. Yeah, maybe somebody changes it, but uh, this clearly is Rabbi Meir masquerading as Rabbi Shimon or vice versa. But in Ain it says. Rabbi Shimon says, "Lo who Rabbi Lezer Rabbi Shua Mishu Chaim Moi Chaylo Lo Mul Achar Shabbos Umola B'Shabbos Shachayev." You did a Sunday kid on Shabbos. You talk a Chayev. Mishu Chaylo Lo Mul Be'Rav Shabbos Umola Shavav Shabbos. The only Machlokus is if you had a that to be Mal on Erev Shabbos, you Mal on Shabbos. Rabbi Lezer Mechayev Chatos Rabbi Yeshua Poter. Rabbi Lezer says, "You Chayev Chatos Rabbi Yeshua Poters." I'm just going to change this to Rabbi Meir because it's got to be Rabbi Meir. Okay, very good. So the Ravuna just changed it to make a garlic rabbi mayor. No, 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 Rabbi Shimon shenanigans here. I'm going to answer Ravuna. Mikushim, actually, Rabbi Anai. Now, I, this line is also a line which is very cryptic, the last cryptic line in the Sugya. He says, um, um, I, th- what I think it means like this is, I'm going to answer Ravuna. Mikushim, actually, Rabbi Anai. Uh, this uh, uh, from uh, uh, from all these kashas which Rabbi Yanai uh, 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 from all these kashas we can ask on Rabbi Yanai who did learn our Mishnah Kibshuto and therefore we have to learn that it's to, uh, uh, um, uh, well from all the kashas we ask we have to reject let me do it again there's a min Makshe Rabbiani from all these kashas we ask a Rabbiani who says Vushashacha Malshu Shabbos Herb Shabbos that the case where you did the kid from Shabbos on Erev Shabbos is the case where you are yeah that you switched around the kids right the case where you did Shabbos on Erev Shabbos so you switched around the kids that that's the case and that's the case in which we say you're Chayev because we said that will leave you with the case of doing the Arab Shabbos kid on Shabbos. And according to Rav Huna, that clearly, that clearly should be Potter. It shouldn't be Chayat. So again, from all the kashas, we what what our Yisrael Buna is just saying uh, in essence is from all the kashas we reject Rabbi Yanai and we take on the position of Rabbi May, which we decided that our Mishnah is pottering you well, like the Bavli, that the crux of the Mishnah is not whether you have license, but the crux of the Mishnah is whether you're doing the mitzvah or not. Okay, there's yet a third shita, third shita. Ravada Bava Marzudi very Mary Rabbi Shimon. That's right, Mary Rabbi Shimon. Avodiv Rabbi Yosi and Rabbi Yosi. Afilu Dovash Ein. By the way, uh, the story we just finished, Lieberman says again, is one of the hardest sugis in all of Yerushalmi. Okay, sound very hard. Yeah, I'm using water. Sorry. <laughs> okay. I thought you explained it very well, but it's. It's a. Yes. Okay. Ravada Rava, Ravada Rava, Marzudi, Mary Rabbi Shimon. This is the words of Mary Rabbi Shimon. Avdi Rabbi Yisrael, Rabbi Hizia is a third sheet. I feel double shame as he also mitzvah. You know, an amazing thing. Even a story which has no mitzvah whatsoever. The truth is, Rabbi Yosi is a Parshab Shad. I have to admit to you, where I to think about what Dharma Dar- 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 Mitzvah means, I wouldn't think about license. I wouldn't think about whether you actually did the mitzvah. I would say, if you thought you were doing a mitzvah, you have a good heart. You know, the main thing is you want to do a mitzvah so we don't make you high of a carbon, right? Wouldn't you have thought that way? One approach. One approach. That's a Raviosi's approach. Raviosi says, 
no, what a coincidence. Rabbi Yossi says, I feel double shame, but you also mitzvah, you didn't do any mitzvah. Hold that terrible shame mitzvah. And he was lishma. He wanted to do a mitzvah. Part of his exam. So what, 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 now, based on this, we are very, 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 you stopped in the Brismila on Shabbos, and there's still some some uh, ridges of skin left, right around the oil. You know, you didn't make it perfectly smooth. So if they're if they're an impediment to the Mila, you go back. If they're not an impediment, you don't go back. In other words, if the middle is kosher, not going back, you don't go back. On a weekday, you would not on Shabbos. I'm Rabbi Yisai. Div Rabbi Yisai. I feel a pirish. I'm going to Rabbi Yisai. The way Rabbi, the way Rabbi, Ye- Rabbi Yaisi is learning, or I don't know if Rabbi Ye- Yechnon probably, I don't know who it is. But Rabbi Yechnon, according to Rabbi Yaisa, even if you pirish chayzer, if you don't see the meal, you finish the meal, you can go back even for the ridges of skin, which are not impediment for the meal. Because he also said, the pshadi is that if you're doing a mitzvah, that even gives you a chatzchila. It was an amazing concept, right? That I don't th- th- think the Bible brings down. Hey then, Rabbi Yesu, where do we see this? The Rabbi Yesu said such a thing. The Tina, the t- we learned over there, Taman over there. Rabbi Yesu, Amir Yomta Farish and Shochak. If first day Sukkot comes out of that, Shachalus B'Shabbos. So you're now not supposed to do Lulav, right? Shach, uh, well, not, well, actually, you are, you can do Lulav, but you're not supposed to do Otsar, right? It's not the Shabbos. So the other is Shachayus B'Shabbos. Shachav Otsi Yes Lulav L'Shu Sarami. And if you got it, you took out your Lulav to L'Shu Sarami, part of your exam. You didn't show Tia B'Shus because you took it out with permission. Meaning you thought you were doing a mitzvah, right? Because it's Sukkot. You thought it's a mitzvah, they got your Lulav. And similarly, Apisaki Shemila Vapimila came. So to uh, by the knife of Mila to move it on Shabbos uh, through Rishus Rabbi and just two more minutes, two more minutes, and also the in Mila the same thing, right? In Mila the same thing. If you did the tzitzim, you know, if you wanted to go back and do tzitzim, show him ain't a mafin. We might have Rabbi Yochan, Divi Rabbi Yosi, feel pirish, I feel chayz al tzitzim she makvitz a Mila. Hadam Rabbi feel besag she Mila came. It's true even by the Mila knife. And I feel it should be the matzah came. First day of Pesach, you took out your matzah in order to do the mitzvah on Shabbos, so then it also be potter. Okay, let's just get to now. By the way, tomorrow night, we finish the Mesech, the Mir Tushan. Okay? We're going to make a running leap for it. It's two and a half blot, but the last blot is just straight Mishnayas, so uh, we'll just run through them. Kotanim Lishmona. Kotan sometimes is Gemalt on the eighth day. Sometimes Latisha, sometimes on the ninth day. Sometimes Asar at ten, Lechad Asar at eleven, Lishnei Asar at twelve, Lopal Slios are not more, no less. How so? Kedarko, if it's normal, Lishmona, eight days. No Benash Moshos, if he was no born Benash Moshos, right? So you can't mile him on next Shabbos because you don't know if he's Chayim on Shabbos. Nimu Latisha, that's his born Benash Moshos, Motsoy Shabbos. Ben Hashmoshes Arab Shabbos. He was born Friday afternoon during twilight. Nimo Lassar, so it's ten days from Friday till the following Sunday. Yontif Lachar Shabbos. If he was, if there's a Yontif after the following Sunday, right? Nimo Lachar so they have to wait till after Yontif, which is eleven days. Shnei Yontif Shoshana. There's obviously Eretz Yisrael. There were no Shnei Yontif Shnei Shogol Yisrael. Nimo Shnei Yontif and the Bris Milas on the twelfth day. Cotton, a choila in Moso, a chair, because it's also a healthy cut. A sick cut, you don't get brisk meal until it gets better. Yesh cotton, Nemo Liyemo. There's a cotton who's, who's, who gets a brisk meal on the day he's born. Hey, Chavira, so, yo, the woman gives birth. But Harkach, Nisgayer, and then she's Misgayer. And the kid is Misgayer after he's born. Nemo Liyemo. He, he's Megai, he, on that day he gets his bris milah. On the day he's born, if you're mal him, this is no way to for him. Great, because he's a gear. Right day he's being gear, so he gets mal on that day. He's gear, but how do you hold on? You know, Lishmaina. At first she's Megai, and then she gives birth. Since the kid is born a Jew, then he gets the bris milah on the eighth day.